we're going to be working with black bass today. So we're going to do a seared black bass. It's going to get a little bit crispy because mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a little modernized trick that I use with some rice flour. It's a beautiful That's looking a, fish. It is. It's I'm one excited. of my favorite fishes. It's actually migrates from North Carolina all up and down. This particular bass is almost a three and a half pounder. It looks that big. They picked out for me at Samuels. It's white. It's flaky. The skin is very, very thin. So mm -hmm. when it crisps up, you can, when you put the knife through it, it just goes right through like butter. Great. Really good. And here's, I have four fillets of uh, sea bass. Sea bass. Okay. They're nice. They're a little bit thicker. I always try to get an over three pound fish. Okay. So three and a half and up. Mm -hmm. It gives it a bigger fillet. And that's really what you need. You need that nice texture because believe it or not, this fish really cooks pretty fast. You can see the texture of it. Right, it's really yeah. white, flaky. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. So what we're going to do now, we're gonna, I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon juice in here, a tiny bit. Great. A little more of that. A little nice olive, olive, just a little oil. bit of olive oil. I just kind of want it to coat the bottom of the plate. So now we're gonna learn your little trick at, is that right? Yeah. Okay. I'm, so what, what I'm using right here is instead of regular flour, mm -hmm. I'm using rice flour. Okay. All so right, it's Asian rice flour and it actually it will help get this real crispy okay. when we saute it. And All how right. is rice flour different than regular flour just because it's made from rice yeah, well, rather than the grain? It's made from rice so it has a much finer texture. Mm -hmm. When it hits the fire it actually is it's very, very, it gets very hard and crispy and it doesn't absorb any moisture from the fish. Okay. And clot up. That's it stays really kind of loose and light. All right, so what we need to do at this point is season the fish. Rice flour is great for people who are gluten-free. Yeah, absolutely. So a great option there. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a big, big thing today, gluten-free. So a little bit of white. We're just gonna be working with salt, pepper. And so are we gonna put it in the little bit of lemon and olive oil before you dip it into the uh, flour? Exactly. Okay. And that, that moisture is going to give it a little acidic touch mm -hmm. so that with the acid from the tomato, right. it'll be a good balance. Great. Get the pepper going for you. Yeah, do the pepper up. Very natural. Hot. Thank you. We want it hot, but we don't want it like, we don't want to burn the fish. Okay. All right, so I think my pot pan's hot. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to pull that off, and now we're going to put our bass into the rice flour. Into the rice flour. So is this dish we're making today um, something you would typically teach, or is this more of what you would? Cook this is a dish that I actually did at Brasserie Perrier. Okay. But I did it Asian style, mm -hmm. and I've adapted it to fit any culture. Oh really? Cuisine. That's interesting. So, yeah. So I, I, I thought about I thought about what did I want to do today. Nice versatile. Yes. Yeah, very versatile. Great. So what we'll also need is another pot, maybe the same size as this, sure. if we have, have it. Some pots right here. Yeah. Is this okay, Chef? That's perfect. Great. So you can see, it's coated the fish. Oh yeah. And we're just going to do the skin side. We're not going to do the meat side. Okay, so only right. one side. Only the one side. And the skin, the skin will get really yep. crispy. Okay. I'll just put a little oil. No, we don't want to get this hot. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Just a small amount of oil in a pan. So will you put the fish skin down first then? I will. And normally what I do is I have a heavy metal uh, type like a weight, almost. weight and it weighs it down so that what happens when the fish is really fresh as it is, it actually will curl up and it won't lay flat on the plant pan. So the, putting the pan on top helps, helps keep it nice and flat. Right. And how long will we put this in the pan for? Till it's cooked. Till it's cooked. You know, all the chefs are saying that we're not as talented as you sometimes at home. Well, I, I, I I'll, I'll give, I'll show you a little trick that you can look for. Okay, I'm a, I'll take a trick. The trick is when you're doing this particular fish, mm -hmm. not to pull, touch it too much. All right. Okay, so don't move it. So around. you want to make sure that it has enough oil. Mm -hmm. All right. And this pan will kind of put it on there. It'll weigh it down oh, okay. a little bit, all right? Great. So we don't want to flip-flop too much, play with the fish. So right. we just want to let it go now and build the heat up. Okay. So if you let the heat, if you start off really fast, then mm -hmm. the fish will brown too fast and the heat won't go in. Right. 
So you can see the bass has started to pick up some heat. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So now we're just going to take our spatula and just want to just double check it. And okay. we can see it's starting. Nice yeah. It's getting a nice brown. And now you can see the fish is actually starting to turn whitish in color. So that right. means it's cooking. It's cooking. So it's cooked about four minutes. So another four minutes on the other side should just It'll about do it. Just right. Yeah, this okay. particular fish cooks pretty quickly. Right. And you want to undercook fish all the time because fish has what's called carryover cooking. Mm -hmm. You want to under undercook it because as it sits, it's going to finish cooking. Right. And yeah. That, yeah, as soon as you take it off the heat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. And then anytime you overcook fish, it becomes real gummy and dry. And Okay, so we don't want that. So that rice flour really is helping it get that nice brown color. It is. Yeah. So I know we're going to be having a little bit of wine with our tasting. Oh, so, yes. Yeah, I'm excited for My that. My favorite. So, um, I just, so we'll be using the wine that we cook with, and I hear that a lot, that you should always typically, when you're going to cook with wine, it should be something that you're going to be drinking as well. Don't just use Absolutely. any Absolutely. Use a good wine. Just better to wine, things. the better to flavor. That's right. An important ingredient. You can touch it. Feel it. Very crispy. It's, right? It feels very crispy. Yep. All right. So, All right, so the other side's crisping up. Yeah. It still has to color. cook just a little bit more. Okay. But at this time, we're actually going to just turn it off and let it finish It'll with finish the heat that's in there. Great. All right. What you want to do is kind of feel when it starts to break a little bit, okay. you know the fish is cooked. It starts to break apart and flake You can it. actually feel it a little bit. Yeah. It's got a little Let give me. to it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. All feel right. Feel it. And if you're really not sure then, you could actually kind of just take a peek in there. Okay. Right. See if it's flaking yep. a bit. It's a little thicker, this piece, so we'll give it another minute on that side. So we're just straining it so we don't get too much grease Yeah, when we get the, the excess grease mm -hmm. off. Okay. 